हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द आवर सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ एंटीना वेव एंटीना माइक्रोवेव एंड राडार इंजीनियरिंग सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज फील्ड रीजन ऑफ एंटीना सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी विल सी द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फील्ड रीजन ऑफ एंटीना देन व्हाट आर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फील्ड रीजन्स देन डिफरेंट इक्वेशंस फॉर द फील्ड रीजन्स and the graph of field regions so in field region of antenna there are the three types of field regions so first field region is a that is a reactive near field regions then second one is a radiating near field regions so for this one we will also call fresnel zone and the third one is far field region that is far no for zone so this is a particular this is a structure of antenna so for that antenna we have the diameter of d so from this antenna the first region is we'll write down r1 as a radius of antenna so for this the first region is a here i will mention this one as a b and c so first region is a e that is a reactive near field regions then afterwards after this one we'll draw this as a second region that is r2 and for this i will mention this one as a b this is a this is b so b is a radiating near field regions for this one we will also call this one as a fresnel zone b and for the third that is we will call this one as a c so this is a far field region that should be far from the antenna and for this this one the distance from the antenna that should be independent on the angular positions means here we will mention r1 r2 for c that should that distance will be infinite means that should not depends on the position of antenna systems so in the fold first one that is a radiating reactive near field regions so for this the definition is this portion is basically nearer to the antenna near to antenna that should be E and for that one the radius of antenna is r1 so here the angular position that should depends on distance from antenna so for this the angular position is depends on the distance of antenna again for this one the equation is that r1 is there that is radius r1 equal to 0.62 under root of d cube divided by lambda this is a whole under root so here r1 is a radius of this particular antenna here i will mention this one as a dipole antenna with a diameter diameter d that is the length of antenna so here that must be equal to 0.62 into d3 means the diameter of cube divided by the lambda that is the wavelength so that will be the range of wavelength that is range in terms of meters similarly for second one we'll go for the second one that is the radiating near field region for this one we'll call fresnel zones so here from here to here that should be radiating near field regions so here uh, the distance is r2 and uh, similarly here this r2 will depends on the position of antenna angular system of antenna means here angular position is depends on 
on distance from antenna so here this r2 is a radius 2 and uh, this somewhat nearer but uh, this region is in between reactive near field region and far field regions means b is in between a and c so a is a reactive near field region and c is a far field regions similarly i will go for the third that is c that is called as a far field regions for this one we will also call this one as a far and offer zone so here this particular angular position that is does not depend or we will call this one as independent on distance from antenna so here will i will draw the radiation pattern for this this is our antenna with a diameter of d so this is a major loop this is a back loops so here we have the e position that is a reactive near fields so some part of major lobe will be in between reactive near field and out of the reactive near fields means here i will draw the position for b also so this position b this particular major lobe will cover both a and b that is a reactive near field region and radiating near field regions similarly i will draw the for c c basically that should be the far field region so for that one the major lobe will be more so maximum directivity of antenna we have to use it so here again it will come like this so this type of field region is for antenna similarly i will draw it so this is an antenna or so i will draw this one and this one so antenna this is a this is b and this is c so a is a reactive near field b is a radiating near field region and c is a far field regions so this is an radiating angles line so here this radius r1 equal to 0.62 under root of d cube divided by lambda so this is a reactive field then this is a radiating field so here r2 equal to 2 d square divided by lambda so this is r1 radius 1 this is r2 and this is a far field so in this one that distance will de does not depend on the angular position so today's lecture we will see reactive near field region radiating near field region and far field regions thank you